So the Sutter 500 with the Mitsubishi engine having the fuel shut, shut down problem causing it not to shut down automatically when you turn the key off. And there is a fuel that very top solenoid right there is the one that we're going to be replacing. Now to get to that you can, you're going to have to remove the seat and the engine back board screen to get to it. You can take the hood off of it, the air cleaner and the exhaust off of it, but it's going to be a pain to get to. With that being said, we can get to it here. On the very bottom of that solenoid, right where the light's shining, there's a uh, fuel return line. The manifold, there's a washer that goes right behind that manifold. You're going to have to need to stuff a rag or a t paper towel in there behind it and kind of squeeze it down in there to hold that washer. Because once that solenoid comes out, that back washer is going to drop. In 15 16 wrench, you can gain access to it from the top through the, through the access door to get to it. That solenoid is going to look something like this. Please hold. That solenoid is going to look just like that. That's the solenoid you're going to immediately replace. That o ring, it'll come with a new o ring, and the seal washers, this seal washer right here you can reuse. That seal washer is the one that's on the back of that manifold and you have to put a drag back behind there to gain access to it. If it, if it falls, it's going to fall in that dozer and you're going to hate yourself about it. I just did this one, I just replaced it and like I said, if you stuff a rag between the return and that manifold and stuff it down in there, it will stay put. We just tried it. So, once we get that all taken care of, screw it back in, tighten it back up, and you're ready to go. Um, check for fuel leaks, check for everything that's going to be, that you're going to need to go about this. It's an easy fix, and if you need us, please call Sutter Equipment, ask for Wade, and I can walk you through it. Thank you.